Thought I'd make a video about uh, the status of the electrical work out here on the new bin. I think it's really close to being done. To start with, they came off of that power pole over there and buried a line all the way over to here. And then the transformer uh, steps the voltage down from whatever it is out there. I have single phase power out here. I don't have three phase. It's too way too expensive to put three phase, they told me. I didn't even ask. Obviously the power's not on, I don't have a meter. Um, this is where it comes in, and then this is my 600 amp panel. See some of the details on that right there. That means anything to you. Um, so out of there, the electrician, he dug all along here. They got those three pipes coming along the edge of this pad. Two of those pipes, buried pipes, come up over here. Um, there's a 100 amp disconnect for my single phase motors that are on the bin. I have two of them as well as a 220 outlet. And then the other one comes to my VFD, the other tube, this big box, weatherproof box, variable frequency drive, which will run this three phase motor here. That's the main motor on the uh, fan. I've got a, um, a heating section here, but I don't have, I didn't get the tank this year I'm gonna see how it goes but so those are two of the three pipes coming up and then the third one they dug a trench and runs all along the ground here and goes over into that corner of that shed there's a hundred amps of single phase power out there now whereas before I didn't have any uh, there's also they ran the pipes along the side wall here the wires so I got a 220 for the motors here going all the way around and then this goes up there's lights and a grain spinner 110 volt grain spinner in the uh for the unloading this comes around here and then on this side i have my on off switch i'm getting the light a little bit better there's my on off box for the uh two uh, two motors this is the in floor auger and the power sweep and then this one is the um, unload auger, that vertical auger, the motor's way up there. And I had to put the motor way up there because of the way this elevation all played out. So rather than having both motors on the bottom, at least in my understanding. Um, and they also put me a um, 220 volt outlet over here on the side, as well as a 110. And then there's a light way up there. So I've got three external lights. That 220 volt is for a, my grain cleaner. The auger will back up and kind of go in this orientation right here to uh, load the bin. And there is a swing out hopper on that auger that will sit somewhere right about where I'm standing in this orientation with the auger going back up toward the top of the bin to load. So the idea being that my grain cleaner could be backed up right here to the in-feed on that hopper. And it will be fed through the grain cleaner into the hopper. Or conversely, if we're not cleaning the grain, it can be swung around to get under trucks that can go on this easement here. And then to unload, I'm burning a bunch of scrap uh, boxes and stuff today, kind of keeping an eye on that while I make the video. So to unload, here's how you get in and out of here. But guys would come in, they pull forward, and then they just back up, do a three-point turn to get underneath that auger. As I mentioned before, I think I've, I've potentially put, could put another big bin, 20, 22,000 bushel bin right there. And I don't think I'll do this, but back in here could be a wet bin a little bit over there, a hopper, and potentially a small dryer. I don't want to get too much into that if I don't have to. Um, as long as I have access, I have markets I can sell semi-wet corn in, organic corn, I'll be okay. So I'm just hanging out after my last adventure, um, taking apart the bean head. I'm, I got parts ordered for that this morning, this Monday. 
Hopefully they'll come in tomorrow morning. I'll get the parts swapped out and I can finish combining the beans tomorrow afternoon ahead of the rain on uh, Wednesday. It is October 31st. I'm starting to run out of time up here. All for now. Bye.